Something that I noticed with the Sierra, High Sierra update for Mac OS was old Macs really slowed down a lot when that happened. We have two in my house. We have my Hackintosh and then my dad's iMac, both of which have eight gigabytes of RAM. And that led me to develop a sort of theory. After all, who wants to use a horribly slow computer? Surely there's something you can do to fix it besides reinstalling the old operating system or just buying a new computer. Well, I had a look at the RAM usage on both of the computers. RAM is used for programs and the files that a program needs. On Activity Monitor, which is the Mac computer hardware monitoring program, five gigabytes or so was being taken up by the operating system and the programs running, but there was another three gigabytes being taken up by cached files. So in total, all of the RAM was full, and this is what I think is slowing down the max. In order to make everything faster and more responsive, they take commonly used files from the hard drive and put them into the RAM in a sort of RAM disk. Both of the computers have spinning mechanical hard drives, and RAM is a lot faster than an old spinning mechanical hard drive. So in both of the computers, I doubled the RAM from 8GB to 16GB, and the difference was massive. They were both so much faster. And when I looked at Activity Monitor again, the size of the cached files had grown massively, so the operating system was expanding all of the files to use up more of the RAM installed. This intrigued me because this led me to think, is 8GB of RAM not enough? for a Mac anymore, but you can buy a new Mac from the Apple Store which only has 8GB of RAM. In fact, there are a lot of Macs with only 8GB of RAM. Does Apple intend all of its lower-end computers to be slow then? Well, as low-end as an Apple computer can be, I wouldn't exactly describe a £1,000 laptop as cheap, but you get the idea. When you look at the storage that these new Macs come with, it's all really high performance solid state drives or at the very least a hybrid drive these are a lot faster so if important commonly used files do have to be stored on the hard drive they can be read and written to a lot faster an ssd isn't as fast as ram but it's a lot faster than a mechanical hard drive when you're building a computer people only normally tell you to add more ram if you're going to be gaming but even then, that's only 16 gigabytes. It's when you're video editing or doing complicated 3D animation. That's when you start adding a lot of RAM to a computer. But from what I've found, increasing your RAM up to 16 gigabytes, even if you're not doing anything particularly intensive, can make your Mac a lot faster. So, if your Mac is slow, add some more RAM. Now, you might be thinking that well, this is all good if you've got an older Mac, but you can't add any more RAM into the newer ones. Well, the newer ones all have the faster drives, so you should be all right. If you have an older Mac, or maybe a Hackintosh, and it slows down due to an update, then what I've learned from this is that you can try adding more RAM into the computer or maybe replacing the hard drive with an SSD. If you found that quick bit of advice useful, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing so as not to miss any new videos. See you later.